Hey, my name is Michael with Jellyfish Lighting. Today we're going to look at setting up the controller to the cloud network. Okay, so here we have an iPad. Uh, this can be done on Android or Apple, phones or tablets. We're going to go into the JF Cloud. From the JF Cloud, I'm going to first set up an account. So I'm going to pause while I do this real fast. Okay, after I have created my account, I'm going to receive a verification code via my email so that it will link the account. And then it says account created, okay. At this point, I can log in. Let me do that real fast. Okay, once my password is entered, I can go ahead and log in, and it will take me to this screen. So on this screen, I can add an existing controller, do Wi-Fi setup, uh, or look at my account. Now in this case, I have a controller here beside me, uh, and this controller is not currently set up. Now, I, can, I know that it's not set up because in the top right corner, right up here, I can see that I have an exclamation point C right there. That exclamation point C means that there's currently no connection. And so the first thing that I want to do is I want to do the Wi-Fi setup. Now once I go into here, uh, basically it's going to tell me that I need to connect to the Wi-Fi uh, with this device. Uh, and then I'm going to use the password BigFish10. So there's no connection. So let me minimize this. Now let's go find the, the settings. And we'll go to Wi-Fi. And we'll find this device. And we'll put in the password big fish 10. And join. Uh, once it's connected, you'll show that you're connected. Now, you'll often receive a prompt that there's no internet access. Uh, that's okay, because you're connecting to this box. You're actually, what you're doing is you're connecting from this device to this box via the Wi-Fi antenna, and the, it doesn't have any internet access, so not a big deal. Uh, then I can come back over here to the app and hit next. Uh, from here it's going to give me a list of networks and then it's going to show me the signal strength of each of those networks. I want to go ahead and select one of those networks and then hit next and put in the network password. Once I've put in the password and hit next uh, it is going to connect to the controller. And I can see over here on the controller that it's establishing a connection. This process can take a minute or two. Basically what it is doing is it's configuring the Wi-Fi to that local network and that will give the controller access to the internet and when you connect to the cloud it will have access to this controller. Once it's done, you're going to see the screen 
change back to the time and date and in place of the exclamation point C, you're gonna see an asterisk zero appear. Likewise, your app will go back to the main page uh, that you started on. On the controller, what we're looking for is we're looking for that asterisk zero to change to an asterisk eight or asterisk nine. Everything asterisk eight and above is a real solid connection. Basically what it's doing is pinging the server and the nine means that 10 out of 10 pings are hitting the server. Uh, if it were to say asterisk zero, asterisk one, asterisk two, not all of your pings are, are hitting the server. That means you don't have a very, uh, a very strong communication signal between the controller and the, the server or, or the uh, router, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and so in that, that case, what you want to do is either add a Wi-Fi extender or try to hardwire it to a switch or to the router. Now that we're back to, uh, now that we're connected and we're back to this page on our app, the next thing that we want to do is we want to add this controller to our account. So we're going to click on Add Existing Controller. And by it saying Add Existing Controller, what it is saying is it has a controller on the network. And so in this case, we're going to wait until this controller shows up. And you can see we have a number of controllers that showed up. The one that we're looking for is the 71BF. Um, when you go and you set one of these up, only one's going to show up. Since I'm in the office, there are a few of them that are showing up. And I'm going to take that one, and I'm going to add it, and I'm going to give it a name. Let's see here. Let's say dealer test. and then add. Okay, uh, dealer test has been added to your account. See that right there? And we want to finish. Now, if everything went perfectly, at this point, when it pulls up to the list page, you should be able to turn your lights on. And I do have a few lights set up right here so that we can see that it's working and we can see the lights come on above the screen on the controller. Uh, at that point, you're ready to set up zones, pick your own pro program, do whatever else you'd like to do, but your controller is set up now. It's on the cloud account, which means that you can use it from literally anywhere that you have internet access. You can turn your lights on and off. And there you go.